let me move on to the interesting part in one of the topic that is simplification how to take an LCM faster right so definitely whatever competitive exams that you are going to write you can see one question that is from proper and improper fraction right so oh, the question is so easy but where the students makes a lot of time is that taking an LCM part so friends I am here to help you that how to take an LCM of a number faster so this method can also be used in time and work right let us see friends here it is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 24 and 1 by 8 so our normal way of solving is that where they teach you in school method that is 12 comma 6 comma 24 comma 8 then we put 2 here 6 2 are 12 3 2 are 6 friends this method is okay but if you are going for a competitive exams you should be faster right so what technique i am going to use here that is just see the denominator value that is 12 6 24 8 target the larger value which is the larger value here here 24 the number is larger so fix this number 24 whether 24 can be an LCM right so I am just going to fix 24 as an LCM before fixing 24 as an LCM I am just going to do one thing I am just going to check whether this number 24 is divisible by all other remaining numbers so friends keenly watch my target is to see which number is larger so I have found 24 is the larger number and I am just going to see whether the number 24 is divisible by all other remaining numbers right so you see here 12 into 2 is 24 6 into 4 is 24 so 8 into 3 is 24 so we can clearly say that this number 24 is exactly divisible by all other remaining numbers so for this condition where LCM will be 24 right so let me move on to the next question friend that is second question right see here 8 64 32 and 16 so our target is to see which number is larger right so i can guess that 64 is the larger number and our next aim to check whether the number 64 is divisible by all other remaining numbers see here 8 8 are 64 right so 32 into 2 is 64 16 into 4 is 64 so i can clearly say that the number 64 is divisible by all other remaining numbers so for this condition where 64 will be your LCM so let me move on to the third condition here it is 1 by 8 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 and plus 1 by 4 friends keenly see here our first target to check which number is larger see which number is larger here the number 12 is larger so I am just going to assume the number 12 can be an LCM our next step is that check whether the number 12 is divisible by all other remaining numbers friends keenly watch here if I fix 12 here 6 into 2 is 12 4 into 3 is 12 but 12 is not exactly divisible by 8 so we can't able to say that 12 will be an LCM so our third aim to multiply the larger value into 2 so 12 into 2 is 24 friends understood the idea first I took 12 right and I am checking whether the 12 is divisible by all other numbers and I found that 12 is not exactly divisible by 8 so first rule fails our second rule is that multiply the larger number into 2 so 12 into 2 that is 24 now I am going to check the number 24 is divisible by all other remaining numbers see here friends 8 into 3 is 24 12 into 2 is 24 6 into 4 is 24 so 4 into 6 is 24 so I can clearly say that the number 24 is divisible by all other numbers right so for this condition number 24 will be your LCM let me move on to the fourth question 1 by 12 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 just listen carefully friends 12 3 and 9 so our first rule that take the larger number here the larger number that is 12 and check whether this number 12 is divisible by all other remaining numbers that is our rule 1 right so I am just fixing 12 4 into 3 is 12 so 12 is divisible by 3 exactly divisible but 12 is definitely not divisible by 9 so I can say that 12 will not be LCM so rule number 1 fails rule number 2 multiplied by 2 so if I multiply this 12 into 2 don't multiply 9 into 2 why because we should concentrate on a larger value right so 12 into 2 that is 24 
now check whether 24 can be an lcm how to check whether 24 is lcm just see just take this 24 and check whether the number 24 is divisible by all other remaining numbers 12 into 2 is 24 right so 8 into 3 is 24 but 24 is not exactly divisible by 9 so rule number 2 fails so what about the rule number 3 is that multiply this 12 into 3 now it is 36 now whether check whether this 36 is divisible by all other remaining numbers see here friends 12 into 3 is 36 9 into 4 is 36 12 into 3 is 36 so i can clearly say that the number 36 will be an lcm how i said number 36 lcm where the number 36 is exactly divisible by all other remaining numbers friends in a first sum we have directly wrote 24 where 24 is divisible by all other remaining numbers similarly in the second condition while we are moving in a third condition the number 12 is not divisible by 8 so what we did our rule number 2 just multiply the larger number into 2 so we have multiplied the larger number into 2 that is 24 and just check whether the 24 is divisible by all other remaining numbers so in this third condition where 24 is divisible by all other remaining condition so rule number 2 follows in the fourth condition where see here here 12 3 and 9 so we have targeted the larger number 12 where 12 is not exactly divisible by 9 so our rule number 2 is to multiply it by 2 that is 12 12 into 2 is 24 and now we have checked whether 24 is divisible by all other remaining numbers still the number 24 is not divisible by 9 so rule number 2 fails and we have moved for rule number 3 that is multiply the larger number into 3 that is 36 if not friends here if not this rule if also fails go for 12 into 4 that is 48 rule number 4 fails 12 into 5 so these are the some of the easiest way to take an LCM. Friends, looking at this method might definitely help you to solve a question from the topic time and work, right? So these are the questions can be repeatedly asked in simplification that is improper and proper fraction. And you can see these types of question in time and work also. So let me move on to the fifth question that is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 11 plus 1 by 12, right? So here it is 3, 11, 12. So our first target to take the number 12 check whether the number 12 is divisible by all other remaining numbers right so 4 into 3 is 12 but 12 is 12 is definitely not divisible by number 11 so i can say that number 12 will not be an lcm so our rule number 2 is multiply the larger number into 2 so 12 into 2 that is 24 and now check whether this number 24 is divisible by all other numbers whether 24 is divisible by 3 but 24 is definitely not divisible by 11 so rule number 2 fails rule number 3 12 into 3 that is 36 definitely 36 can't divisible by 11 rule number 4 12 into 4 that is 48 now check whether the number 48 is divisible by all other numbers right where 48 is divisible by 3 but 48 can't be able to divisible by 9 so we can clearly say that rule number 1 2 3 4 5 everything get cancelled so friends the easiest way to solve these kinds of sum is that better do one thing see here friends just listen carefully here it is 3 11 12 my target is just taking 3 and 12 why because 11 is a prime number so 3 and 12 when i compare the number 3 and 12 which will be an lcm just take only for the lcm that is 3 and 12 when comparing to 3 and 12 the 12 is larger so if i fix the value 12 12 is divisible by 3 so i can say that for these two values 12 is lcm so remaining value that is 11 now 12 into 11 132 so 132 will be your lcm friends understood the idea this comes only in practice right not looking at this video you can't able to solve just see all the videos in my website that is based on proper and improper fraction so that you can uh, learn different types of lca method see here friends year 3 11 2 12 right so i have took 3 and 12 why i didn't took 11 because 11 is a prime number right so when i come when i take lcm for 3 and 12 i got 12 is an lcm right and the remaining is 11 so we can't able to take calcium for this number better multiply 12 into 11 is 132 let me move on to the sixth question how to take an lcm of a number faster right where more students feeling difficult to take an lcm for these kinds of numbers right see here friends 10 8 4 6 right see here 10 8 4 6 so in the previous sum i have just taught you that 
concentrate on the larger number here the larger number is 10 so our target to check whether the number 10 is divisible by all other remaining numbers right see here friends if i fix 10 in can't be divisible by 8 and 6 so 10 will not be an LCM so our next rule is to multiply the larger value into 2 so 10 into 2 now 20 right so check whether the 20 is divisible by all other numbers right 20 is divisible by 4 but 20 is not divisible by 8 and 20 is not divisible by 6 so 20 can't be an LCM so 10 into 3 now it is 30 check whether the 30 is LCM see here friends where 6 into 5 is 30 but check what about 4 30 can't be divisible by 4 so similarly 30 will not be divisible by 8 so multiply 10 into 4 now it is 40 just check whether 40 is divisible by all the remaining numbers here 40 is divisible by 4 40 is divisible by 8 but 40 is not divisible by 6 so what we can do here right what sort of methods can we use here see here friends first of all just see 10 8 4 6 i am targeting 8 and 4. Yes, I eat both the numbers that is 10 and 6. Don't bother about the 10 and 6. Now take an LCM only for 8 and 4. Right? If I take 8 and 4 LCM, the larger value is 8. Right? So I'm just going to check whether 8 is divisible by 4. Exactly 8 is divisible by 4. So for these two numbers, so 8 will be an LCM. Listen carefully. So the remaining numbers are 10 and 6. Now I am just going to compare these two values, right? I am just going to take LCM for these two values. Here it is 8 and here it is 6. How to take an LCM of a number? Just target the larger number. Here the larger number is 8. So check whether 8 is divisible by the remaining number 6. Don't bother about 10 here. Our target is only 8 and 6. So 8 is not divisible by 6. So rule number 2. Multiply the larger number into 2. So 8 into 2 is 16. Now check whether the 16 is divisible by 6. No. Rule number 2 fails. Rule number 3. 8 into 3 is 24. Just check whether 24 is divisible by 6. Yeah, 24 is definitely divisible by 6. So we can clearly say that for these two numbers, 24 will be an LCM. So here we have 10 remaining. So we can say that 24 into 10, that is 240, will be your LCM for this number. Friends, understood the idea what I have did? So 10, 8, 4, 6. I have target first two number that is 8 and 4. So I have got 8 is an LCM. So remaining numbers are 10 and 6. I am not bothering about the value 10. I am targeting only 8 and 6. Here the larger value is 8. So rule number 1, rule number 2 fails. Only rule number 3 follows that is 8 into 3, 24. And the 24 is divisible by 6. So I have took for these 8 and 6, 24 is the LCM. Now our... Uh, here the 10 is remaining so I am just keeping 10 as it is so 12 24 into 10 so it is 240 for LCM for this method so friends finally we got LCM of this number is 240 right and where most students will ask by using a schooling method that is traditional method you can get an LCM for this number that is 120 but if I use shortcut tricks we are getting an LCM as 240 Right? So, most people will say this is the correct method and this is the wrong method which I have taught you. Friends, see here, LCM is not at all important, right? Our resultant is mine. Whether the getting the final answer which we are getting should be correct. Just look at the way which I am going to solve in a both the method. That is, this is our methodology and this is our traditional method. So friends, I am just going to solve you the fast track method and also the traditional method. So how the resultant is to be, right? See here friends. So 240 will be an LCM. See here friends. So 10, 240 divided by 10, that is 24. So here it is 24 plus so 8 so 8 into 30 will be 24 so here it is 30 so here it is 4 6 4 are 24 that is 60 and here it is 6 then it is 40 just see here the lcm is 240 so 60 plus 40 is 100 so 100 plus 54 that is 154 friends keenly watch we can cancel it in two table right so if i cancel this number in two table so one twos are two two twos are four so zero one twenty numerator that is seven twos are fourteen reminder one seven twos are fourteen so finally i got seventy seven divided by one twenty this is the method which we have followed right 
so friends this is our methodology of solving and we finally got 77 by 120 for these kinds of numbers i have already told you how to take an lcm of a number faster and we have finally solved 77 by 120 let me move on to the traditional method right where most students will say this method is wrong so let me move on to the traditional method now so we know that 10 8 4 and 6 see here friends 10 8 4 and 6 the traditional method is that our target to first divide by 2 so that is 5 2s are 10 4 2s are 8 2 2s are 4 3 2s are 6 now again 2 that is 5 2 1 3 so again by 2 so 5 1 1 3 so by 3 that is 1 comma 1 comma sorry 5 comma that is 1 so now 5 so 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 so we can clearly say that this is an lcm of the number what is an lcm see here 5 into 3 is 15 15 into 2 is 30 30 into 2 is 60 then 60 into 2 the lcm is 120 friends this is the method that they are traditionally following right so by our method we got lcm 240 by traditional method we have got lcm 120 let me see right so uh, so finally we got lcm as 120 so here it is 120 if it is 120 so divide by 10 that is here it is 12 plus so 12 so 18 to 15 that give resultant will be 120 so here it is 15 plus see here friends 4 that is 4 into 30 so here it is 30 plus 6 6 into 20 so here it is 20 so if i add 30 plus 20 is 50 60 70 so 77 divided by 120 see here friends the both the resultant are same remember that this methodology is not at all wrong right this methodology is exactly correct the resultant which we are going to get in both the cases will be same so better use this method to take an LCM of a number faster.